Hey, what a great day it is to be down here in the Broadwater, Scott. It's absolutely fantastic, hey, and how good turning is, it on. And how good is this 485 Apache? Mate, it's, it's a new release for us and it's um, been very well received so far. I'm just curious, Scott, is this the largest in the Apache range? Mate, it is. The 485 is our largest model in the Apache range, and then we step up into our plate tricks plate boats in the yep. trophy range. And what's the motor you've got on this one? We've got the new Yamaha 75 horsepower, which is just a beautiful match oh, for this I've, boat. I read some accolades of this motor. It's a beauty, all right. Oh, I think we should have a pretty good time on the water. We've got a good day for it. Have you um, had this boat out before yourself? Yeah, we've taken it out and some of the beauties about it, because it's got a nice 2.2 metre beam and nice reverse chines to it. It's a very dry and stable ride, um, which is exactly what you need. Yeah, I notice it's got good high sides. There's plenty of interior freeboard. I'm seeing seating positions for four, so uh, you know it could be mum and dad and kids or four pretty keen anglers could go out. It looks, looks as though it's got plenty of storage by the number of... Uh, of little uh, finger tabs and uh, catches I see. Looks like there's plenty of storage. What's the story on that, Scott? So we've got heaps of storage in the front casting deck and then we've actually also got a storage tank down the rear um, which can be plumbed up into a full kill tank as well. Oh gee, that's the shot. So it's 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 as close as you're going to get for as an all-rounder in this size of boat really, isn't it? It, it is. And yeah. it's great value for money at the end of the day. And you've got a couple of key features with it with fully welded side decks, fully welded underneath the gunnel. So you've got a nice oh, strong, strong solid hole underneath yeah, it. So I, can, I like the idea of that, that full welding. It's, a, it's, re, it's sort of, uh, it's a thing that people would look at and say, well, this boat should last us a long time. Now, looking at 10 side ribs along the sides too. So that's, that's exactly right. There's a lot of internal construction that you don't get to see underneath the hull, yeah. but there's heaps of ribs, like you say. There's actually underneath the hull, there's in excess of 12 ribs, um, but there is 10 side ribs to it. Oh, so just heaps of strength rigid. at the end of the day. Mighty rigid. And look, your console, I had a quick look at that. Uh, you've got a Raymarine mounted there up on top, but in that front of the console, you've got quite a large sound. If you yeah, want you to can fit up to a 12 inch sounder in there, oh, so yeah. it all They're comes all down to person. Aren't they? <laughs> Everyone's got to have a 12 inch <laughs> That's sounder. That's it. That's it. Well, Scott, we'll have a pretty good time out in the water, given the day we've got. Uh, I think we've got Will uh, from Yamaha Motors. Will. How are you, Wayne? Oh, not too bad. Well, look, uh, it's a hard day at the office here. We've got uh, no breeze to mention. Uh, there's some there's some pretty nice features along the beach. Uh, now, what can you tell us about your 75, Will? Yeah, look, as you know, Yamaha for a long time has had a, a good lineup of four-stroke engines. Uh, this is our, our latest engine, it's the Yamaha F75, 75 horsepower four stroke. Look, it, it, you know, we've got that F70 and it's, it's been one of Australia's favourites for a while now. The 75, some people have asked, you know, why an engine only five horsepower more? Well, you look at what the Australian boat manufacturers plate their boats and what you'll find in the marketplace is a lot of boats are actually rated to 75. And market trends tell us that the punters want maximum horsepower to go as fast as they can on the water. Oh, so yeah. this now fills a very good gap for us when you uh, you take Australian builders plates into consideration. What you'll find under the cowl of this 75, it's a 1.8 litre engine, it's an inline four cylinder, four valves per cylinder with a single overhead cam. It's got all the standard features that you'd find across the Yamaha four stroke range, including that YDC 30 alloy, which means that, you know, 10 years down the track, you're not faced with nasty corrosion through your engine. It's an engine that's gonna last and last. Mm. Well, the F70 was very well received. I was always impressed with boats when I had the F70 on the transom, but I'd say the 75 should give us a pretty good run for our money this morning as well, eh? Yeah, I think you'll really like it, Wayne. I know some of the fishing that you do, and I think this uh, this setup will be well suited for what you do. Oh, look, I'm actually going to Proserpine next weekend. Will, are you trying to talk me into taking this outfit and giving it a go? Mate, I reckon have a word to Scotty James. He might hook you up. <laughs> <laughs> good one.
I just had a pretty good time out in the broad water in the Apache. This is a very nice boat. For 485 size, it's got a lot going for it for a fishing boat. Fishing's my bag. I mean, I, I like all boating, but I guess I'm a, a dedicated fisherman. There's a lot of things about this boat that really appeal to me. Let's just start at the interior. It's a roomy boat. It's high-sided. It's got good interior room. It's got useful storage up front. There's seating for four. There's storage under the back for the catch. There's a live well on the transom. Looking at the console, it's got a huge flat area there where you could easily put 12-inch sounder because everybody likes a big sounder these days, and why not? The eyes in the water are what turn up your fish, after all. I was very impressed with the ride. It rode extremely well, thanks to the reverse chines in the hull. It's got a decent sized keel, which means when you throw it into turn, you're gonna feel a few G-forces. The 75 Yamaha on the transom, beautiful little new motor, virtually silent at 4,000 RPM, and yet, with three aboard, we averaged over 60 k's on one brief burst. The engine was just on 6,000 RPM. Still not excessively noisy. I was very impressed with that. The stability. We stopped it purposely so I could walk around and see what stability was like. Plenty of stability. Even an absolute beginner to boating, not even owned a boat before, would have no trouble coming to terms with what this boat offered and the potential it had for catching lots of fish. And Scotty James from Stessel, who was with me at the time, just amazed me when he told me this boat would come home for less than $40,000, $39,990 in fact, with a Dunbeard trailer. Now to me, that's pretty good value for money. And as the overall package, very good value for money as a fishing boat, certainly ticks all the bo boxes. There's plenty of storage, plenty of room for everybody. and. With four seating spigots, well, you could take four chaps out for a morning on the water. You could even go offshore when conditions were right. So this is Wayne Camp from Fishing Monthly after another nice morning on the Southport Broadwater. And how sweet it is.